Hi, everybody. Welcome to Oasis Online. This is a mindful flow class, one hour long, and my name is Devin. Prior to getting started, I'll have you grab some props if you have them. So we're kind of going to use a little bit of everything today. If you have a yoga strap, you can grab it. Um, otherwise, a scarf or a belt will be perfect. You'll need a bolster or a makeshift bolster. So you could just do two pillows stacked on top of each other if you don't have a yoga bolster. If you have blocks, grab them or whatever you would use uh, to substitute a block like a water bottle or something like that. And then a blanket. Um, you can fold a blanket into a little rectangular shape and we'll use that to cushion as we get into the slower parts of our class. So if you're newer to Mindful Flow, this is a format that does a little bit of everything. So we start with gentle movement and then we transition into total stillness. Um, and so today we'll work into the heart space as well as the hips. So we're gonna get a lot of opening throughout this class. And the invitation is to identify or practice identifying yourself with something other than the mind. And so as we create the space and we work into these deep kind of creases of the body, we'll have this opportunity to identify or get to know ourselves in a way that looks different than constant thought. All right, so we're going to get started. On your mat, we'll take a child's pose variation. If you have blocks, grab them. Find your child's pose legs, so big toes together. Walk your knees wide to the width of your mat. If you don't have blocks, it's totally fine. You don't need them. You'll just do the same thing on the floor. Okay, so you're using your blocks, one underneath each elbow. And then as you drop the torso, take your hands together. Melt your forehead through your arms to the floor. And then once you tap your forehead down, draw your thumb to the nape of your neck, both thumbs to the nape of your neck. And as you get down here, you might need to adjust where your elbows are. You can walk them in or widen them, whatever you need to do to make this more comfortable. And for now, you can just let this be pretty passive. So we don't need to push too hard through the elbows. Just take a moment to observe the body and arrive in the space of your practice. Feel out the space of your hips and your shoulders, your chest, to just notice what sensations are there currently. And feel the status of your body, whether it feels open or maybe it feels a little bit tight. As you become more present to your body right now, find a deeper breath practice. We're just making the breaths more intentional. Find a big breath in all the way to the base of your belly. Just practice expanding through the torso. And then open mouth, exhale breath. Let everything go. Good. Again, take a deep breath in. Fill up your belly. Fill up your chest. Open your mouth and release. And then just seal your lips. Reach your arms forward. And as gently as you can, lift yourself up to a tabletop position. Slide your blocks out of the way. So we'll find our tabletop all fours. And then we'll move actually into a variation right from tabletop. So it's a little bit early in class for this, but it will be really gentle. Okay, From your tabletop, slide your right knee up towards your right wrist. We're moving into a gentle half pigeon. And then once you've slid your right knee forward, turn your shin in slightly and slide your left knee back. Okay, So feel this out. It might be the case that it's best for you to stay up on your finger pads. Okay, I'm going to stay here. If you feel like you need more depth, you can always drop down to your forearms, okay? So we've got about a minute hold in half pigeon just to really start working with the outer hip. Find a gentle squeeze of the inner thighs and just keep your gaze soft, keep your face soft. Keep moving the breath deeply into the parts of your body where you feel this posture. And 
And as we move through this practice, we're really going to practice this act of observing and observing all of the different pieces of the experience that can be had on the mat. So really doing our best to observe the difference between when we're having thought and when we're having sensation, when our awareness is on the breath, and then maybe when the awareness is on nothing at all, just pure awareness, and just letting ourselves watch the different qualities of experience. Okay, if you're on your forearms, just come back up gently, and we'll make our way back into tabletop. So left knee slides forward, really gently, right shin bone turns back, slide the right knee underneath your hip. Just the second side here, same thing, left knee now slides forward to your wrist. Turn your shin bone in just a little bit. Keep the toes pointed back. And now slide your right knee until you find yourself in your half pigeon stretch on the second side. So about a minute again. So another way to look at it would be that we're super used to identifying ourselves uh, based on thinking or various thoughts. And so dividing the experience from thoughts and everything else that's not a thought and just observing okay it's a little bit different for everybody so it's not like there's this clear step-by-step -step process it's just all really going to start with your awareness so just awareness of what it feels like in between the thoughts awareness of just feelings and sensations in the body unattached to thought Just another breath here. And when you're finished with that breath and you feel even on both sides, just return to your tabletop. Slide your right knee forward. Walk the left knee back. And then from your tabletop, we'll move into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up. And feel the knees stretch, the backs of the legs lengthen. You can take the hips from side to side or pedal your heels if it feels good for your post-pigeon stretch. Bend your knees a little bit. Think about curling your hips towards the ceiling, and then we'll focus a lot on the upper body. So push your hands down into the ground and feel your outer shoulders wrap towards the front of your body so the upper back widens. Just like in your child's pose at the start of class, for this down dog, just let your heart slide through your shoulders a little bit. So we don't always want to do that, but just feel for a little bit the heart sliding through the shoulders and a bit of opening across the chest and under arms. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Lift your gaze towards your hands. And slowly walk to the top of your yoga mat. Just take your time. We're meeting in a forward fold. Any variation that you'd like for forward fold. Put your feet at a distance that feels supportive for your pelvis. And then just let your upper body relax completely. And just absorb all of your attention into the experience of your body and the posture and your breath. In your forward fold, try to relax the shoulders even more, the sides of your shoulders. Feel your neck let go so it gets a little bit longer. The sides of your neck extend, feel heavy in the base of your skull. If your hands are lifted, drop them down to the ground. Walk your feet so that they're either underneath your hips or maybe they're together. Take a halfway lift, hands to shins, the base of your thighs, the floor, whatever feels best. Keep the length in your spine and exhale, come back to a gentle forward fold. This time, inhale, come all the way up to standing, reach through your fingertips, and you're pausing at the top. So your arms will stretch. Now at the top, Interlace your hands. Take a big breath in to reach up. As you exhale, bend your right elbow. Pull it to the side of your body so that your left elbow tip sticks up towards the ceiling. Okay, I'll show you a little bit closer. So the back of your head is binding to your forearm. 
And then you're gently pulling the right hand down to help your left elbow tip lift up. And then as your elbow tip gets higher, push your head back so that you open through your throat and just feel the whole up and down lengths of the left side body. Take one breath in and one breath out. Keep the bind in your hands and just come back to center and switch. Exhale, the left elbow bends down into the side body. Your head presses back into your right forearm. So we have this bind between head and arm. And then once you have the throat open, if you wanna take that gentle side body stretch up to the left, you can do that, but just focus on this opening. So it's kind of like what we did in child's pose to start, but taking the opening to a deeper degree. <clears throat> For one more exhale breath. Okay, and then as you inhale, come back up to center. Flip your palms to the ceiling now and stretch your wrists up. Roll your shoulders back, lengthen through the sides of your neck. Take one breath in here. And then as you exhale, just take your hands, push them forward and begin to fold. So nice and slow, palms press out, take your hands down to the ground. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, your left foot steps back, right foot is forward. Set your left knee to the floor, walk your hands to the inside of your right foot, and just tip onto the knife edge of your right foot, right knee falls to the side of your space. Okay. Now as the right knee opens, find a gentle squeeze of your inner thighs, basically to drag the right hip crease back an inch. Try to keep your chest forward facing and wrap your shoulders back. Awesome. Okay, so just really getting into these creases of the body. Take one breath in, heart forward. And then exhale, back out, low lunge. Lift your left knee off from the floor. Step forward once again into your fold, and then it's breath to movement. Inhale, halfway lift. Spinal extension here, reach through to your crown. Exhale, forward fold. Come up to standing. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, interlace them at the top. Exhale, bend your right elbow, lean over towards the side of the room. Really good. Inhale, arms up through center. Exhale, switch, left elbow bends, side body stretch, keep your head pressing back. Inhale, come back up, flip your palms, and exhale, forward fold, push out through the fingers as you come all the way down to the floor. Halfway extension as you breathe in. And now step your right foot back, low lunge, left foot is forward. Same thing, second side, set your right knee down and just gently tip your left knee open. So you're balancing on the knife edge of your left foot, flex your toes back. Think about squeezing the inner thighs to wrap the left hip crease back. And now chest forward. About two breaths here. One inhale. Stay and breathe out. Okay, gently come back to center, low lunge, lift up your back knee and step forward into your fold. Okay, feet are hip width distance or together. We'll move forward from here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Come up into chair pose this time. Sit down into your heels, reach your arms up. Concentrate all of your weight into the center of your heels and then intentionally spread the toes out on the floor. Good. Reach your hip creases back. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, figure four, cross your left ankle on top of your right knee, hands to your heart. So we're pretty open already in the outer seat. Feel free to go a little bit deeper as you sit back. So you keep the weight in the right heel. Okay, as you sit deeper and push your left knee towards the ground, think about lifting your left hip up a little bit at the same time. Just like our runner's lunge stretch a little bit ago, heart forward, shoulders back. Take one breath in. Exhale as the IT band stretch. Take your left leg, cross it over. Pinky toes are touching. And now fold your hands down to the floor or maybe it's your blocks or surface or whatever supports you best. Try to root your big toe mounds down to the floor. And then let yourself have an experience of feeling into the sensations of the stretch. And a little bit into this practice, maybe you notice 
that the mind is active, or at least the mind is pretty relevant here. And there's nothing wrong with having thoughts. It's completely inevitable. It's just a function of sending your awareness into places other than thought as well, like the awareness of your body. Okay, take another breath. Gently unravel your left leg. Step it to the back of your yoga mat so you're in your low lunge with the right foot forward. Really good. From your lunge, set your back heel down to the floor like warrior two. Walk your hands out over the top left corner of your yoga mat. So we'll call this warrior two stretch. Think warrior two legs and down dog in the upper body. Do your best to anchor the outer left foot down. Wrap your right hip crease a little bit towards your left heel. Keep the length in the upper body. So press your hands down into the ground. Just like before, maybe melt your shoulders, or your heart rather, through your shoulders. So using these postures that stir up a lot of sensation to help the awareness move out of these grooves of the mind. Okay, take one more deep breath into your stretch. On the exhale, walk your hands back towards your body. Wide-legged forward fold, turn your toes inward, hinge your upper body. So just a breath or two in a wide fold. You can use your hands to pull yourself deeper, whatever feels good in your body. Your next breath in, take a halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Keep the halfway lift to bring a soft bend in the knees. Engage your belly and hover your fingertips off of the ground. And then from there, keep the long spine and rise all the way up to star pose. Reach up and out. Just some gentle flowing here. Take warrior two. Right toes turn forward. You've already been here in the legs. Open up your torso. Reach out across your wingspan. Open your right knee a little bit wider. You can hug your right hip crease back. Okay. Keep the shape of the legs. Reverse warrior. Right arm up to the ceiling. Then we'll move right into the archer arm variation. Bend your right elbow. Take your head to your forearms. This is familiar. You could stay here if you want more. Left hand cups the right elbow tip, and you're pushing your head back into your forearm like a lever pull back on the right elbow. Breathe big into your right side body. Keep driving your right shin bone forward, and then in opposition, the right elbow stretches away. Now, last detail. Can you level off your hips a little bit? Slide your left hip down for one more breath in. And exhale, release your hands down. Low lunge, lift your back heel. Take your time getting there and simply step forward to a fold at the top of your yoga mat. So this is our little intermission here. In your forward fold, We'll take an eagle arms here. So thread your right arm underneath the left one. You can either hug the shoulders or find your full eagle wrap. In either case, just drop your face into your biceps. Let everything go. Get as heavy as you possibly can in the upper body. And take one more deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Feet hip width or together. Find your halfway lift. Stretch your spine long. Really good. Exhale, fold forward. Come back down. Chair pose. Find your seat. Sweep your arms up. We'll move right into the second side here. Right ankle to left knee. Figure four. So you're rooted on top of the left foot here. Send your hips back. On this side, it would be right knee gently presses down as you lift your right hip crease up, okay? Sit back deeper, but curl your chest forward. And just notice the way that your balance brings you into the moment and into the feelings of your body. Okay? In order to keep the balance, we have to stay present. Take one breath in. 
Your exhale is an IT band stretch. Cross the top leg over. So right pinky toe will come down to touch the left one. Hands melt down to the floor. Okay, or maybe your blocks. Or maybe you rest your hands on your legs. You have a few breaths here. Try to spread the weight equally through the soles of your feet. You can hug your belly up and in to make a little bit more room for this fold. And it's an awesome opportunity. What are you identifying with in this practice? What kind of experience are you having? Right, so if it's one that's locked in the mind, okay, then you're going to have an experience of thought the entire time. If it's coming from the body, Okay, then we'll have an experience of awareness and breath and present moment. Okay, and so we can shift over and over the attention back to sensation and back to the feelings in the body to help create some space between the thoughts. Okay, find your halfway lift shape. Step your right leg around and back so that you're in a left foot forward lunge, just like we did on the first side. Warrior two legs, drop your back heel down, right heel to the floor. Walk your hands out over the top right corner of your yoga mat. And just set up this side. There's a gentle slide back on your left hip crease towards your right heel. Keep the length. You're actually pushing into your hands. Right? So it's pretty active in the upper body. So to put it more simply... It's basically a function of experiencing a posture from the level of thought or the level of feeling. And there are two very different directions. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, walk your hands back towards your body. Turn your left toes in and find your wide fold. Okay, we'll flow right through this one. Take a halfway lift. Pause there just like we did before. Bring a slight bend into your knees. Hover your fingertips off of the ground. Inhale, star pose. Lift up. Exhale, warrior two, turn your left toes forward. Find your warrior two stance. Drive the left shin bone forward, open your knee slightly. Reverse warrior, left arm goes up. And then right into archer arm variation, bend your left elbow, take your head to your forearm. Your hand comes between your shoulder blades and if you want it, take your right hand and cup your left elbow. Now we have this lever we can pull back on to make more space on the left side. Slide your right hip down an inch or so. You'll take one more breath. Exhale, gentle, gentle release. Take your hands down to the ground, lift your back heel for a low lunge. Step your right foot forward into your fold. Once you're in your fold, eagle arms, left arm underneath. You can either hug the shoulders or take your full eagle wrap. Just drop the face. And let your arm bones really relax. You kind of dangle down towards the floor. And take another inhale. And a slow exhale. You can release your hands. Take a halfway lift. Bend your knees now and sit down on your heels. You can round for a moment in ball pose, chin to chest, forehead to knees. And gently make your way down to a seat in whatever way feels best. So for these next few postures, we'll make sure we have a few props nearby. Okay, one, you can take your blanket beside you. It may or may not come in handy. Definitely grab your bolster or your stack of pillows and take that behind you. Okay, so that's going to be what you sit up against. And then you may or may not want a block nearby. Strap as well. But for now, just bolster and a block if you have it. If you don't have a block, you could also use another pillow or you could use a rolled up blanket. But we'll get to that. So from here, start with your legs stretched forward, and then just bend your right knee in. So it's almost like a tree leg. The foot of the, the right foot comes to the inner thigh of your left leg. 
And then from here, very gently start to recline back onto your bolster or your stack of pillows. And then if this feels like too much rotation in the right leg, grab your block and you can lift your right thigh, set it gently underneath. Okay, so we don't have to have this huge drop of the right knee down if it's too much. Support it with something. Maybe it's a rolled up blanket as well. Make this posture your own. Adjust however you need to. Close your eyes. And just let this first posture, this first transition from movement into stillness be a space for you to observe. Just observe what comes up and what kind of experience unfolds. Feel your awareness become more fluid from your head to your toes. And really take a moment to feel the full shape of this posture. So feel the shape that your body is in completely. And notice all of the sensations that tell you where your body is in space. And then try to feel those sensations even deeper, like you're zooming in on each sensation. When we're fully absorbed in the body, fully, 100%, it's impossible to think So body awareness or breath awareness, they give us this opportunity to experience ourselves without the constant thought circles. Take a deep breath in, really fill up your belly. If it feels good, open mouth, exhale. Take your hands to the floor, maybe your forearms. In whatever way it feels best, just push yourself up away from your bolster. Keep the shape in your legs though. So you have this bend in the right knee. You're now going to take your left leg, swing it over the right one so that your knees stack for cow face legs. 
For me, I have to then shift forward into tabletop, bunch the knees closer and widen the feet. Then I can sit down, okay, with a little bit more equal weight between my sitting bones. So you have this leg set up. Make sure you have your strap nearby. We're not going to use it quite yet. For now, just take your fingertips behind you or in front of you, whatever feels best, and find a really gentle fold, okay? And by the way, it might feel better for you to just sit up straight. That's totally fine. Just want you to find a position for a few minutes with these cow face legs that feels sustainable, something you can feel into. I'll show you a little bit closer what this looks like. I know that it's tempting for the left seat to lift up, but try to keep it anchored down. And this posture stirs up a lot of sensation in the outer hips, so feel into that fully and use that as an opportunity to create some space from thought for a while. And just take another deep breath in and another breath out. If you're folded, just walk your fingertips back up. We're going to keep the legs in cow face and move into a full cow face variation. So this might be where your strap or scarf or belt come in handy, okay? So left knee stays on top, okay? We're going to work with the right elbow up. So I'll show you backwards, okay? Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. And then you have a couple options here. So if you're not using the strap, internally rotate. So your left hand stretches out and then turn it in, your thumb towards the floor. You can reach for that bind at your back. A strap would be like this. You take it into your right hand and it's the same process. So left arm out, flip your thumb to the floor, and then reach for your strap. Okay, and you can walk your hands as close together as they'll go. Once you have your grip, that's when we'll take it into full cow face as an option, which is where you fold forward. Okay, belly to the thighs, you can round your forehead in or whatever feels most comfortable for the neck. You could also stay seated with the spine straight if this is already a lot of sensation. You're here for about a minute and a half. Keep the foundation of your cow face legs just like you did in that hold. So the weight is equally distributed across your pelvis and now you're simply adding the component of your upper body space. And then instead of going right into thinking about all the technicalities or maybe implications of the pose or what your body feels like or looks like, instead of having thoughts, try to just feel into every crease and every corner of your body simultaneously. Three more breaths. If you're folded, begin to lift your spine straight again. Release your bind in the upper body. Take your hands behind you. You can lift your knees and just separate them. Take your feet out in front of you and windshield wipe your knees. So just drop your knees to the right and then back to center and then to the left. So just going back and forth, kind of massaging your glutes down against the floor, releasing any tension. It's a lot of opening there. Okay, one more time each side. And then you'll find your way back to where your bolster is. For the second side okay so with the bolster behind you this time we'll work with the right leg straight bend your left knee take your foot to the inner thigh of the right leg very gently lower down onto your stack of pillows or your bolster 
And if this is too much external rotation for the left side, take the block and set it underneath your outer left leg. Okay. Close your eyes. Much more mild posture here so you can get a bit more restful. what this practice teaches us over time through the mechanisms of awareness and through really strengthening the witness perspective. It teaches us that we're not our thoughts, that thoughts are an experience that moves through the container of our awareness, but we aren't actually our thoughts. And there's a distance that inserts itself between thoughts and then it becomes this journey of exploring what that distance is, what is the space that exists between the thoughts for you. And we just remind ourselves that the way into more spaciousness or the way out of thinking is not through thinking. We can't think ourselves into relaxation. So we have to switch gears. And the gear that we switch into is feeling or awareness. And when we switch gears, it doesn't mean that we've ditched all of the thoughts. The thoughts are still going to move through, but it's not the method through which we're experiencing. So just keep feeling and just keep being aware of each moment. Take a full breath in and a steady breath out. In whatever way feels best, as gently as you can, come up. So this time we're working with the left knee on the bottom for cow face. And you'll swing your right leg on top. For me, I have to come forward into tabletop, so if that was helpful for you on the first side, do that gently. Widen your feet, make some space for your seat as you come back down. So we spend the first two minutes of this posture just with the cow face leg, so you can stay seated upright with your fingertips behind you, or you could take a gentle fold with your fingertips out in front. And just spend the first few minutes here feeling into how big this is for the hips, feeling into the equal grounding of the pelvis. So try to press your right seat down just a little bit. And 
and let the sensation, the extra sensation of this pose be something that takes you deeper into awareness versus into your mind. So in other words, try not to judge what's going on. Just feel it more deeply. Three more slow breaths. And just start walking your hands back in toward your body. I'll show you again from the back what this will look like. Okay, so we have a couple different ways to experience this. The left arm comes up. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like with the strap. You'll take the strap into your left hand, extend your right arm out, flip your thumb to the floor, and then bend so that the back of your hand comes to your low back. Now you'll bend the top arm and then start working your hands towards each other on the strap. It doesn't matter what distance is between your hands. You could stay seated upright, or you can fold forward. Okay, and the fold could just be this tiny hinge forward. It doesn't have to be a huge thing. But do your best to keep the same alignment or the same foundation that you just held for so long in your hips. Now you've just simply added the upper body opening. And is there a way that even in this big shape and this deep stretch all over the body, is there a way that you can just stay in that feeling gear. We'll take a deep breath in together. Stay and breathe out. Just two more rich breaths on your own. If you're folded, you can lift your spine up and gently release the upper body. You can set your strap aside. Just like we did before, lean back on your palms and then unwind the knees. Take your feet down to the ground and windshield wiper really slowly. So just knees side to side, massaging out your glutes. And relax into the hip creases as well. So feel some softness in the front of the hips. And then when you're finished with your windshield wipers, just come back to center and we'll set up for a final Shavasana. So we'll be moving into a guided meditation. I tend to recommend that you find a bolster or your stack of pillows and put it underneath your knees unless you want it elsewhere. Now you can take your blanket and or your other pillow and put it underneath your head. Okay, we'll take about a minute here to get really comfortable in our Shavasana variation. Please take the extra time to grab extra props or if you need to put another layer on, if you need to grab another blanket, please just do whatever you need to do to be really comfortable.
we'll be working with a affirmation meditation today. So all that means is that you get to spend the next bit of time just receiving. So there's absolutely nothing that you need to do now. Close your eyes. Just feel yourself move into deeper rest. And in these first few moments, just allow yourself to feel comfort. Listen for what your body's asking. And then arrange yourself accordingly. You can allow your legs to part slightly, your feet are heavy. Guide your arms to the sides of your body with your palms facing up. Just make sure that your fingertips are free and not touching anything. Give your shoulders permission to relax deeper. Take a couple breaths. As you breathe, Surrender the notion that this experience needs to be perfect. Let go of any expectations that you might have on this meditation. And trust that no matter what experience you receive, perhaps it's precisely what you need. Take any control off the breath now. Just let the breath be. Observe the inevitability of your inhale and the relief of every exhale. And the breath is effortless. as is relaxation. Find relaxation in your body by releasing all signs of effort. Use your awareness to feel your body as a whole. And from head to toe, just soften your muscles. As you feel softer, release them again. Invite your bones way toward the ground. Notice the edges of your body drip to the floor. And the outline of your body begins to blur as expansive awareness takes over. flat or dimensional. Allow yourself to wonder without seeking an answer, what is the feeling of relaxation? Invite remaining tension in your body or gripping in your mind to fly away for now. You can imagine your need to control this moment as a tightly clenched fist. Now in your mind's eye, simply open the hand. Sprawl your fingers out. Just let go of the control. Trust that whatever needs your attention will be there when we're finished. So for now, just surrender. Shift into the calm space inside of you. Into the warmth of simply being alive. Continue with gentle breath. 
And with relaxation, if you drift, it's okay. If you sleep, it's okay. Just stay relaxed. Now begin to imagine a place where you are completely at peace. This could be a memory of a time where you were totally at ease, fully present. It could also be a product of your imagination. Just picture in your mind this place where you are serene, beyond your circumstances. You are untouchable in your peace. Allow yourself to indulge further in this visualization so you look around and notice the imagery surrounding you. Bright, vivid colors, nature, other life. Notice the sounds decorating the experience. Smells wafting through. the sensations of earth and air against your skin. And you feel so comfortable in love and connected with life. You're calm and safe in this place, at peace with yourself. As you stay in your peaceful place, I'll begin to call out several affirmations. Simply hear them and experience them as true. Acknowledge any thoughts or emotions that might come up and continue relaxing. I am completely at peace with myself. I value myself as a person. I am worthy of rest. I am completely whole, just as I am. I am a valuable human being, exactly as I am. I have areas where I can grow more and I accept them lovingly. I forgive myself for my mistakes. I forgive myself for my mistakes and I'm finished suffering from thoughts of them. I am free from my mistakes now so that I can focus on growth. I am excited to develop new strengths. I am patient as my growth unfolds. I imagine and believe that all of these affirmations are true for me right now in this moment. I accept that I'm not perfect and love myself anyway. I nurture past experiences that still live within me unresolved. I care for myself 
even when challenging emotions arise. I accept myself. I am whole. Return to your peaceful place now. Whatever emotions or thoughts may be accompanying you there, let them be. And give them space. Take one more look around. Breathing in the air. Enjoying your relaxation. And bring your awareness again to your body as a whole. Come back to the feeling of your breath. And we'll start to reawaken now. So keeping the eyes closed and the body still, just bring your awareness more central. Feel yourself slightly more alert to what's going on around you, the feelings in your body. As you feel more awake, you can find some deeper breaths. And you can start to move. Take your time moving your hands and your feet. Maybe opening and closing the palms or the jaw. Eventually, reach your arms over your head. Take a full body stretch if you'd like. Draw your knees up to your belly. And tip over to either side for fetal position. And pausing with your head resting on your upper arm for a moment. Every time we feel ourselves as something other than thought, it's like a drop in the cup. And over time, the composition of what's in the cup starts to change. Right? So even if it's just a moment of present moment awareness that you're feeling apart from thought, it makes a huge difference over time. Right. Press up to a seat if you feel ready for it. And as you arrive in your seat, just find a comfortable position with your legs. Sit up tall. Guide your hands together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. And a gentle breath out. Thumbs to the center of your forehead. Bowing to the earth in love and in gratitude. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining, everybody. It's amazing to spend this time with you. Take care of yourselves. I hope that you feel this relaxation move with you for the rest of the day. 
Um, thanks again for being a part of our awesome community. We really appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Take care.